Hello everybody and welcome to another FTP tutorials. So today we're going to be talking about overclocker upgrade, energy storage upgrade, and transformer upgrade. So all three of these items do their own little thing. They're all very, very different in their very own unique way. So let me just go through each one of them. So an energy storage upgrade, let me just show you how to make it. Energy. I'll just show you guys just in case some of you guys don't know how to use this. You just need planks. Nice electronic circuit, battery, and copper cable. Pretty easy. All it does is each upgrade increases the storage capacity by 10,000 EU. Its main purpose is for like when the energy consumption becomes too large for its storage to handle. So yeah. So it, it increases the storage that the machine can hold. Now in these, the transformers, let's see how they're made. Oh god, what have I done? Oh yeah, it's really annoying the way that that works. Trans... Is that gonna come up? Yep. That's made with gold cable, electronic circuits, some glass, and an MV transformer. Transformer's pretty simple to make. And then those... They upgrade the amount of EU it can receive, so like... One upgrade enables a tier 1 machine to receive 1,028 EU. It enables it... The two upgrades enables 512 EU. And three or more is 512 EU. So, you want to put it into the machine before applying the power. Just to say, just to say. And then we've got the last one, which is called the... It's called the overclocker. Let's look this up. Okay, let's look this up quickly. Sorry about that. Just had to cut out. Somebody came into the room. Oh, I forgot. It never works like that. Overclock. So overclocker. These are harder to make. You need the coolant cells and electronic circuits. These are made with water cell or water container, water bucket, and tin. It's not too hard, but they're a bit annoying to make. But basically, all these do is speed up the process that this is going to take. So if you check in a transformer, well... You, you guys know what these do. They're not as important, but these overclockers are really, really, really useful. Because they speed up the process of, like, how fast a block is, well, in this case, broken down, as I would like to call it. You know, turn into dust. They speed up the process. So if we check a generator on, then check that in. Oop, have I done this wrong? Oh yeah, you need transformer. See, so as you can see, yes, yeah, so you need these energy storage and transformer upgrades to, for these to work. Since you guys know, I'm quite a noob at FTB, so I'm not really sure why, but this is the kind of the setup I've gone for. Since these are quite cheap, it's really useful. But you see, this can't put enough power in, so it's not working. So let me do a quick setup to show you how fast this can actually go and how useful it can be. Two seconds. Okay, so this is the simple setup. If you can check in ton, tons of generators, use coal, use whatever method you want to, use solar pa panels, then look at how fast this smelts. Or macerates. Boom, that's insanely fast. Now, we can also, if we want to, use these things called electric furnaces. Now, I love these. These are really, really useful. Chuck this in there. Oh, see? There, it does get filled up. Use real up really, really quick. And instead of having to, like, you know use an actual furnace with coal you can use energy so it's a lot cheaper in the in the long term but i mean look at how fast you can make this thing run and that is 10 times faster than a normal furnace so it's really useful for producing mass amounts doing automatic things it's really useful for end game when you just you want stuff to speed up speed up the process and for quarries and stuff this is good for machines any kind of machines basically it's just really really useful I mean, I absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure this would go faster if we, like... Let's try this. Let's take this stuff out. Oop, are the machines not filling up? Nah, I thought they'd fill up. As you guys can see, I am still a very big noob at this, so... I'm just going through it slowly with you guys. I'm going to try to learn beekeeping and stuff next. Maybe show you guys a few other techniques I've learned. But right now, I'm just going through this as a noob, so... Yeah. I'm going through it step by step with you guys to show you guys what I learn. 
So guys, that'll be all for this episode. See you guys all next time. I hope you guys all enjoyed and this helped you. See you guys next time. Bye.